Hello everyone, I'm Kibitz, and welcome back to City Skylines, where last time we started on our oil refining area and actually earning a profit in our city. So today we're going to expand that over this entire island, but most importantly, we are going to have to make a super massive train station to deal with the flood of traffic. Then the sky's the limit, baby. And if you're excited for that, remember to leave a like. Getting started though, we have to rip out a ton of stuff, honestly. We need a lot of train stations. This is gonna be a lot of traffic and we're gonna double the amount of traffic once we fill in the rest of this district. So let's just bite the bullet. Let's just do it. All this gotta go. Cause I wanna have as many train stations as we can possibly fit in this area. Also, we want the trains in this area because we have a lot of the road network designed around trucks going towards the warehouses. So if we have the trains next door and the trucks can choose either or, should work out pretty well, hopefully. So let's see what we can do. Train station one, two, three, and four. Okay, that should be enough train stations, I hope. That's gonna be a little close though. We're gonna have a lot of traffic going through here, plus we have a highway that's gonna be going straight through here too. It's gonna be a little, a little difficult to design. Does that actually fit back though? Okay, so we can get the highway back in, that's great. This complicates things a lot. In fact, probably too much. The thing with the train stations is it's gonna have all of this traffic heading right over to here. And the trucks are gonna need to be able to go back to the district over to here. They're gonna wanna leave down that highway. And then some of the vehicles are just gonna wanna go all the way back to here. So we have to provide all those options. And right now I've kind of left myself without anything. So I think we're gonna have to shimmy on down this way. All right, so everything has been destroyed and moved over. It's gonna work just fine now because now the vehicles have a way to scoot over this way. And then they can head over here, go back to wherever they need to go back to. And now we only need to focus on the train tracks and the out of city line. And for the train tracks, there is like no way we can do all the train track stuff here. So we're probably just gonna go across the river. So goodbye road. It's a little inconvenient, but it has to be done. We don't really have another option here. You guys all scoot down here. Then we'll do some kind of insane train junction at that point, which leaves us with the roads. Roads, the roads, the roads. Always the most ridiculous. So we can't really cross over this train track. Well, like we could, but it would be a disaster. So we're gonna have to have all the roads go over this way. And the only way they're doing that is if we go up, like so. Now we could connect to this highway. And then we have a highway exit going this way and to like there, for example. But if we do that, then the inbound traffic is gonna get absolutely insane and it's all gonna back up because there's gonna be an insane amount of traffic coming out of here so that won't do in fact I gotta look at this entire idea again maybe this road will work maybe it won't but this road can definitely go so then this can scoot on over and do the same thing by scooting this way okay and then maybe we got something going here scoots over this way that scoots that way and then we still have this highway entrance okay seems like a good plan and we'll figure out how to connect this up to here and that's GG now can we connect the train stations up to there so many questions let's do some science it's gonna be very 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 tight I think we can do it oh yeah but okay can we do that again a solution immediately for me game you shouldn't have oh yeah it's like just enough room for this <laughs> it's a little sketchy, but yeah, that's gonna work. And what about the very end of the line here? Come on, a little bit higher. Yes. Okay, that's good. That's real good. See, that's the most difficult part we've just done here. Because we have infinite space for the train tracks now and practically infinite space for the inbound uh, roads. So let's work on those next because they're right here. And what we have to do very methodically now is make sure that the entrances to each of the train stations is perfectly equal to one another. 
as in it's perfectly viable for every single truck to go to every single train station because if one train station is like a millimeter closer then all the trucks are just going to pile into that one traffic out the wazoo and we're doomed what we're going to do is we're going to get this giant one-way road have it go to here uh no where's like the perfect center you know what i have to do this the other way around these roads have to come out further this way and we have to combine them together equally looking at the construction cost 270 that's 270 so that should be good same deal over here okay so both of those are pretty equal then from a central location that would go this way this way that would go that way that way and now we can get center road in this does not look like it's perfectly equal We're gonna have to figure out that distance oh it's like right there that's 300 that's 300 okay so that's perfectly in the middle perfect that means you go this way, that way, and that's kind of the entrance we're working with here. Because now, when the vehicles all come from the district or wherever, they're going to go in here, and when they get to this junction, the trucks are going to be like, hey, every train station is the equal distance away. And they shouldn't just pick one train station and be like, haha, that's where I'm going to go, and forget about all the rest. Only other thing is I had to tinker around a bit to make this system way more efficient. So way bigger road, got a big six laner that goes into a two lane road, which I might upgrade. But the main thing is it goes to another four lane highway road that splits into two. Because each of these roads has two lanes. And I just wanted to make sure the trucks had ample opportunity to go into the lanes they need to go into. And you know what? Because we have a six lane going into the two lane road, that doesn't make sense. Let's make this a highway. Not for the speed, just for the lanes really should make things perfectly efficient okay so this middle road is going to get absolutely bonkers it's fine highway exit wise though dabbled with that a little bit more too same kind of system step up thing but it goes to a highway a little bit faster and they can scoot that way turn this into a highway it goes over top the warehouses it connects to this highway and then they can scoot as well and from this highway they can go over to this district Plus, there is an exit over to this district right here, but that's probably not good enough. So there's going to be an extra highway exit over here. It goes way down over this way. Why this far? Because we have another exit right there, and I didn't want to interrupt it too much. In fact, you know what? Just go to there. Done. And I'll tidy that up a bit more a little later on. Okay. Roads? Done? Good? Probably. Only other problem is we have all these vehicles going towards the highway here, but then there's a highway exit right there. So a lot of traffic is gonna again try and enter the highway and leave the highway within this short span of space. So we might have to get rid of that or move this again, I'm not sure. I think we might just have to test it out to see how it all goes. Oh, <laughs> we can't test it right now. We don't even have the train tracks in. Oh, gives you rascally lad all right well similar to the traffic we're gonna have hundreds of trains scooting through here all the time so we're gonna have to use one-way train tracks so inbound wise which direction do we have to head in um no we want to go the other way so the two-way tracks the right side the track goes inbound and the left side the track goes outbound so what you can do is you can have track going outbound like so, and it doesn't cross any tracks. And then you can have a track going inbound, and same deal, no track lines are crossed, meaning all of the trains are able to scoot in and out easily. Just to make this efficient though, and for the trains to actually work, either the inbound or the outbound, probably the inbound line, it's gonna have to be raised to go over the outbound line. So now, this goes over top of here, and very crudely goes to there. Then the same deal, no paths are crossing, everybody's happy, happy, this is a one way. Then eventually, we're gonna wanna go to a two lane rail track, and both of these are gonna combine again. And if we've done this right, you can see down here as well, <laughs> there isn't any tracks crossing, but we got some spooky glitch stuff happening. It's probably because of my mods I'm using. Let's try that one more time. There we go. Perfect. So you can see none of the rail lines cross. That means they're not going to stop or clog up. And everything will work fine. At the end of the day, we end up with this. 
So exactly as I designed before, just a lot more clean. We have the two-way track coming over this way. These tracks don't clip. The inbound goes here. Ooh, that's not connected, so we have to watch out for that. So that will go into here. And then same process repeated. You do have to look at the tracks though. Like if you do not physically see the tracks there, that means it's actually not connected. See, now it is, now it's not. That got me a lot on previous playthroughs. Aside from that though, it looks like everything else is good to go. Yes, yeah, that's good. This is good. All right, that means everything's combined up to here. The roads are all set. The train line is set too. We just have it going over this way past the airport. <laughs> this is the library by the way. So now it's gonna have a train and the airport planes running past all the time. Yeah, classic. And oh, I guess we do need to connect this up to a main line. Where is an out of city train line? Right over here, skirts this way, goes to there, and then out skis. Then we have another one that just goes to like here. That looks cool. That's too far out of the way. Let's connect up the train to this one. We also just want to make sure that we have a little bridge going over this poopy lake. We've learned now that this is the emergency overflow poop lake. So it is now a feature and has to be protected. So we'll scoot over there and straight on ahead to here. Now we just have to make a train junction. And exactly how we make a highway junction and using the lane dynamics I was showing you earlier, we need to make sure that the one-way tracks go into the right side of the rail line. So it could start out like this, where the track can just scoot over this way, can combines and leaves properly. And then we just have to have a couple lines that are up here that connect down this way and do not cross the main line. Perfect. And same deal with the other direction. Just like so. And then, of course, the usual cleanup. So everything's all pretty and perfect. And you might think this is a little overkill, but trust me, trust me, it's not. It's probably still gonna get clogged up. In fact, train traffic is one of the worst things to deal with in this game. So I've, I've tried to do a couple things. Namely, I've tried to have most of the connections in one area, but then for one connection, I moved it way down over this way just so the trains can kind of back up a bit, just in case. Now, will that work out as intended? I don't know, but now, wait, no. Now we can find out. Everything's done. The roads are in, the train tracks are in. It's time to test the video game. $60,000 profit right now. $40,000 profit right now. $25,000 profit right now. Okay, profit's going all over the place. Power, important, there you go. Now we're gonna see a massive, massive flood of trucks just be like, train, choo, let's go. Because the trucks, they usually are trying to find the shortest way out of the city. And right now there's only one way out of the city. But now these train uh, terminals count as their own export place directly out of the city. So this is easily the shortest route. So most traffic's gonna end up here. Only big thing is we don't want all of the trucks choosing one train station and then going. Plus, there's this road issue too. Uh, so far, so good. It looks like a lot of these vehicles are kind of just looping around though. Why? Because they're trying to get to this exit right here. And then what? Going around here, there. And they're trying to get up to there. Okay, so with that in mind, we should have another highway exit, like about here. So they stop looping back to the main highway because the main highway, of course, is going to be very, very busy. So just do this temporary. I can tidy things up later. Looking at everything else. Trucks, why are you only choosing one train station? Oh no, there's some going there. Okay. Trains, how are you looking? Good. Full of my oil products you are? Lovely. Oh, what happened here? $90,000, $80,000 profit? Cool. Oh yes, how's the train at junction? It's probably getting busy very quickly. It's looking good. Not like an absurd amount of trains here. Over $100,000 profit. <laughs> this is what I'm talking about, brother. Uh, still looks like most of the trains are going. Oh, no, no, no. Trucks are going here too. <gasps> no, everything was working so well. I can't believe I've done this. I've made a... Fatal design error. The one stupid thing with trains is they have to be built in the right direction, the train stations, or else this happens. 
This port is the import. This port is the out port. There's no way to change it. It's just the game's design. And I've built my cargo train terminals on the wrong side of the road. So what's happening is there's this crisscross of trucks constantly, which is gonna cause like infinite traffic. Oh, it looks like this has to be redone anyway for the exit. So this is the worst case scenario. I'm gonna have to move every single train station, which means I'm gonna have to move all of this too. Oh, dude. Is anything salvageable? Yes, actually, yes, 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 yes. I'm pretty sure we can just copy this with the move it mod. There we go. Copy you, put you over here, and then the rest of it, well, I guess I'll move everything around, or maybe there will be some weather, who knows? What a horrible accident, where so many people's lives were lost. So unfortunate. Saved me a little bit of time though to rebuild everything, so I guess there's that. Yay! So, exact same design as before, it's just now everything's on the right side of the road. So this is facing this road, and it should be fine. Test number two. Goodbye, all the vehicles that don't know where to go now. Traffic's still looking good. Uh, did I move all this properly? Yes, all the tracks are not connected. I see you. Fiend. Okay, and there we go. This is what you want to see. Trucks go in, and then they go out. They don't do the little song and dance. Much better. Why are vehicles despawning here, though? Oh, probably because I moved all the train stations. Okay. So no biggie, no worries, yet. Looks like the money's going up too, back to 100K. Beautiful, you'll love to see it. Very importantly as well, we're seeing that the trucks are going from here to both train stations, which is super important. I forgot to upgrade these roads though. There we go. And then right at the end here, we go to a four lane. Okay, it just makes the traffic flow a little bit better. So, okay. Mmm, a hundred and seventy, a hundred and eighty thousand dollars profit? For me? Okay, things are working very, very well. Excellent! I think there's still a couple things I want to tweak though. Namely with the output of trucks here. It's not really working all too well. But even after some fiddling, it's still a little rough. I've turned this into a highway. All the vehicles are just using one road. Most of them are just trying to head to the main highway and scoot through. So, I don't really know. This might just be how we leave it because the traffic continues to flow through, but I might have to tinker with that further. In fact, at some point, I probably will. We'll see. I'm just happy the profits are up. And also, now we have this built and it's working, we can finish up the rest of this industry area. Because this is only half of it, baby. Now we can fill out all of this space with as many oil processing plants as we want and effectively get infinite money. So let's push things to the limit and see what breaks. And after this, absolutely something should. I've filled every square inch I could with as many oil processing buildings as possible. So things are gonna be a little crazy for a while. So let's just speed it on up. And it looks like we're already getting a couple problems here, brother. I think a lot of these I can fix with lane dynamics. But by the end of the day, the traffic kind of evens itself out. Good. How's traffic looking over here? Same kind of problem, but it's not backing up to the train station, so that's okay. Even better, look at that. All the vehicles are actually going to these ones too. Oh, thank goodness. Good. Very, very good. All the train stations are actually being used meaning we're probably gonna run into some train traffic. A little bit, but nothing too out of control. The real out of control stuff usually happens over here at a big intersection. But no, it's working fine. Good. All right, no problems. No big problems anyway. Yeah, and that again, I can fix with the road dynamic stuff. Cool. Or hey, actually, who knows? Maybe the traffic will just clear itself out after everything has a bit of time to settle. So I'm just gonna let the game run for a while and tinker around a bit. But for now, I think that's gonna be all for today. So I hope you guys enjoyed and thank you for watching. Have a fantastic rest of your day and bye bye.